What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Tiger Tran, coming back at you with some Seven Days to Die. I kind of got the itch. I was playing with my brother and his best friend, Aaron, who's also one of my really good friends. Uh, there'll be probably be a video coming up where our frame rate dropped to absolute buns because we were doing max hordes, zombies. And ever since, I, I've got the itch back on. I, I started to record this series on day four just because... The, the first days are like me picking up grass, <laughs> making bows and arrows, uh, running around with kind of just doing those early quests. So I, I chose not to record those. I was like, all right, I'm going to bring it in once I got a bow, some decent, uh, just like, I'll show you guys my inventory, some decent things online. I've just been selling things like crazy, picking up pieces of guns, trying to find books, because a lot of the early game is just really trying to find books so you can start building your initial base. So that's kind of been my strategy. I started off a small base in the hospital, and now I've been running around looking for tools so I can kind of build a more solidified base. Uh, and the reason I started recording now was I found this. This is the first gun safe I found. Day four uh, was well, actually in day three, and I found this bad boy right here. SMG, baby. Let's go. This thing does work. 30 damage. Entity is better than a pistol. I don't have the book for it yet so i have a pistol or i have a flashlight on my pistol mostly to save uh save space because because my inventory is full big reason i i came up here into the frost biome in the first place was to hit the oh we got a bro over here big the big reason i came here in the first place was to hit the trader joe because the the first trader joe i found oh gosh my guy's still cold Man, I first came here, I thought I would have enough heat to, st like, to at least get here and then get warm inside the trader place. And because I was, I was having heat issues in the trader place, but then um, that was not the case. But thankfully, one of these lumberjacks gave me a, a thick jacket. All right, this guy's just rolling out. I'm going to try to bop into this house. These houses seem like they've they've had some pretty solid stuff. All right, well, I was going to kill these lumberjacks, but they are making their way away, so not a big deal. Let us chop our way in here. Still super crazy dark. All right. Ooh. What? crosshair system in this game always makes me sad still oh I hear spooky sounds so in this update they put more zombies in the house and if you see that they lay on the ground pretending to be just dead bodies so this game spook level has definitely gone up pretty drastically ooh nail gun interesting what is happening here So this is the joy of early access. I've never had this game just straight up freeze on me. Crosshair is moving. It's like me reading this uh, nail schematic just meant, made this game go nuclear. Maybe it'll kick back in. Can't hit escape button. <laughs> I mean, this game is still an alpha, so there are going to be issues. It's kind of one of those things you kind of just have to be ready for. Hey! The nail gun is a brand new item. I've been scrapping lead pipes because I have a bunch of them. Oh, there we go. So we got a zombie over here in this corner. So dark. I can't even really... I think that's his head right here. Nope. Gosh. Oh! Oh my gosh, I gotta be on the run. I can't see anything in here. This is crazy. Maybe I did hit that guy? No, it didn't sound like I did. 
I wish I, I've been really hoping I find a mining helmet at some point in the future here. I don't want to waste bullets. I wish you could put a flashlight on a bow. That'd be so dope. Probably can do it on a compound bow, just not a normal bow. Alright, so that dude, it seemed like he was like swinging. I, I don't know exactly how the zombie mechanic works in this game. Because it seemed like he popped me a couple times, and then he just pulled off as if he couldn't find me in the darkness. So I wonder if they have some kind of visual mechanic. So dang dark, I can't even see their heads. Oh my gosh. This is brutal. So I'm just going to aim for the chest head area. So, because with this game, I, I try not to cheat too much. Because, you know, in some games, you can, like, turn up the gamma epically high. So that way, it's almost like it's not even dark. I don't like doing that. I kind of like, you know, because if you were in a post-apocalyptic house with no power, it would be pretty dark. Just realized... I'm going to check my levels in a minute. Ah, good. I did level. So we can get the second level of Quality Joe. So for my points, I've been pumping all my points into Scavenging and Quality Joe. So that way I can get the highest quality items early. Because you'll find that... So every item has... If you're new to this game, every item has a number on it. Ooh, nice. Honey. I've been carrying honey because if you get whacked, you have a percent chance of... So I did hit this guy. You have a percent chance of becoming infected and as you can imagine you slowly turn into a zombie and it kills you but it also affects your stamina adversely big time i'd pick up that cloth classically and sell it but my inventory is so dang full i need to head back to the trader i've been waiting for daytime to do it but then i also wanted to explore these houses because i feel like this is part of the there's a uh Wood chopping colony. Oh my gosh, I hate when this happens. Uh, there's a wood chopping colony. Pretty close to here. There's a workbench that I've marked just in case I would maybe potentially use it in the future. So we're going to head back to Trader Joe's. Sell this pistol. Since we have this SMG. Because pistols are pretty common. SMG is super rare. I was playing with, once again with my brother. And we actually got like four AKs before we got an SMG. What the? Dude. These guys are super strong. These lumberjacks. Trying to get them on the right... There we go. Headshot. What? Oh my gosh. That's the one thing about this game that they, the way they path, they just like lumbering back and forth. They don't move straight. The lumberjacks, I feel like, are one of the hardest guys to hit. There we go. down there we go seven percent so ironic that my my hide pants are better than this Struggling for inventory space big time over here. Oh my gosh, look at that big horde. I'm going to waste ammo on that right at this time. I'm 
uh, continue heading over to this Trader Joe's area. I do have loot amount turned up because I am playing solo. Otherwise, it just takes forever to get basic supplies like rocks and air, like le or not rocks, but feathers and. And when you're looking to build base infrastructure, I, f I always find that that's painful. Ooh, football helmet. This is probably... Wow, my cloth helmet is almost as good as it at 25. That's crazy. How are we doing for food? I just ate like a bunch of my berries. Back in the day, they could keep it so your food meters were always on here. I wish that was still the case, but it is not right now. That is a lot of bully casings. I need my wood because... Sounds like I hear things. Oh, they're still pretty far away. Gosh, that is just so many bullet casings. So you know what I'll do is I'm going to use this bandage. I'm going to grab these. Oh yeah, see that's the mechanic. So you can't go into Trader Joe's until some some time. I, I don't know exactly. I think it's 6 a.m. It's either that or 8 a.m. So while we wait for Trader Joe's to open up, I'm just going to mine some wood. Because that's going to be our stopgap from creating arrows. And early on, the name of the game is Arrows. Because before you get your forge, and I believe there's even a, well, thankfully I have the anvil. I wonder if that'll allow me to make, like, bullet casings and things. So our my friend, uh, son of a zitch, Aaron, he's the one who does most of the bullet crafting, or, like, or figuring out all the systems. So this game, play, like, I'm normally the killer and the scavenger. So in this game, I'm going to have to try to figure out the new mechanics of what does this, you know, what happens from a construction standpoint? Thankfully, I believe I have enough stuff to make the bellows. I don't think you need a book for that. I probably should save up some points at this point, though. Just in case you do. Because what he would do is he was our science expert. My brother, Andrew, he was the one who would build all the bows and melee weapons, and he was also a scavenger, so we'd be out there just getting stuff, and then he would be building, like, our motorbikes, building the base, and I'd build the defenses, outside of the fact that he built, like, the super high-level science defense. Oh, these trees are too close. That's what that sound means. So that, that's considered part of uh, Trader Joe's area. The reason I use that bandage is even if I'm not bleeding, that bandage will heal, will give you HP. So, so somewhere in the 80s, and now I'm up to 106 right now. Thankfully, I haven't died yet. I don't have any grass, so I have just been repairing these hammers. Once again, because of space requirements. See, even with the block, so I turned on block durability as well for this exploration phase. And even with that, man, I guess I am using a terrible axe. Oop, okay. Let's just keep chopping then. So part of me that almost wants to build a fire because... Oh, it almost looked like a backpack with the snow on it. Because what ends up happening is if you are too cold, it makes your hunger go down really fast. I don't have anything to cook right now, though. All my stamina regenerates here. And show you my character. So we just saw that football helmet. I love how this game loves to give me nerdy glasses, but they actually have some pretty decent defense on them. Ah. Good to know. Six. Six o'clock. 
a.m. is when Trader Joe's opens. So what we'll probably do is sell this pistol. Looking for something special. And I'm probably even gonna sell these shotgun pieces, hunting rifle pieces. I don't have the books for them yet. I need, I, sniper rifle stock is good enough to where I'll probably keep that. That's the best weapon in the game. Uh, bullet casings. I'm gonna sell some of these painkillers because I don't need 18. I'm gonna sell this six should be plenty. Get rid of this old cash. I want I, I was almost wanting to check the if old cash is worth selling. I should have checked the price before I sold it. I don't know where it went. 18. Hmm. So what I'm debating is do I even carry that stuff with me? I know I need the anvil for my forge. Shotgun shells. I'm never going to get rid of ammo that's completely made. Brass is for manufacturing and lead is made to manufacture ammunition. Same thing with iron. At some point, I'm going to need clay. Stones I'm keeping because we need that to make basic tools and arrows. Forged iron is super rare, for, at least for me now. Though, to be honest, I could probably get a bunch now that I have this this anvil. I think the anvil is all you need to make forged steel. That are a crucible. And I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. We're going to use this hat because we're going to go back into a hotter biome. I've been saving my gunpowder, oil for repair kits, coffee beans. I was thinking about doing this just to cook up and so I can get my stamina higher. But you know what? We're, we're going to sell these as well. Just because all my cooking pots are back at the hospital and I don't see myself going back there really quickly and coffee beans aren't that necessary I mean it is nice to get that stamina boost but it's not make or break all right well it's about time you bought something so we're gonna sell this pistol yeah it sells for buku bucks let's go let's take a look at his goods just to see if there's anything I would want to buy Is this coal pretty cheap? 26. Not really. I sold this guy a lot of pistols. Ooh, machete blades. Machete is such a good weapon. You have to have crazy high level skill to make it, though, which is unfortunate. So, nothing really. Well, is there something else? No, sir. All right. Looking to see if there's something I could put on my bar. We'll put the flashlight on here. Just in case something is spooky dark and we need to take a look at it. There's a chemistry station here, which is really nice. It's where, but, there's, but the other reason I set up my main base in the hospital was there's a chemistry station is that in there as well. But to be honest, this isn't a bad place either. So that's where the hospital is. There's a farm with a ton of food here, but the working stiffs is what I was trying to make room for because I found a claw hammer so I could build a workbench in the hospital. So we're gonna we're gonna head back to let's just set up a waypoint. It's easier. We're gonna head back into that direction now. Looting as we go. Hello, zombie. All right, good. We're out of the winter biome. I'm all about that life. Oh, ah, let's see. I'm gonna keep on crafting arrows. I am going to mine one, because I think I just used all my rocks if I do that. I was planning on making a blunderbuss, but at this point, I don't even know if I can make, 
I don't think I can. I think you do need a crucible to make legit bullets. Because I was thinking, like, you just use my SMG instead of a, a blunderbuss. Alright, so this should give us enough rocks. Ha, uh, cowboy. Oh, he sees me. Oh my gosh. This guy's got... Like, cerebral palsy, dude. He's, like, just moving all over the place. What? Hunting rifle? All right. Dang, boy. Oh, but I can't put this flashlight on here. That's a bummer. How much damage does this thing do? I love rifles. I'm all about that AK life. 53. All right, so this is my big boy killer. If I run into some fatties or skin some sticky situations, that'll probably be how I drop my sneak attack on them. Dude, that horde in the, the ice biome, I was surprised at how huge it was. It's crazy. I think I've already searched this place. Let's give it a quick. No, I haven't. All right. Let's see if there's anything good. No, I have. All right. I just had missed one place. All right, guys. This has been Tiger Tran. And I'll see you guys next time on our adventure to Working Stiffs.